Hello? It's Halloween! Cheers, you guys. It's a day drinking kind of day. It is Halloween. Hi guys, welcome back and happy Halloween. <laughs> this is the best day of the year. I don't care what anyone says, it is, it is. This is a special edition video and in today's video, special edition video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today is a very special day. You know, it's my most favorite day of the year. So today I am gonna show you how I do my Frankenberry makeup look. My big Halloween costume for the year is a mashup that I sort of like dreamed up. Do you remember the Frankenberry cereal from when we were kids? Yeah, um, all of those monster cereals, Count Chocula, Boo Berry, Yummy Mummy, all of that stuff. This is the 50th anniversary of those cereals. So I thought, and this is kind of a reach, but I'm mashing up Frankenberry with a 50s girl because it's the 50th anniversary. So I melted them together and made like a 50s sock hop vibes Frankenberry. So I put this costume together myself. I didn't sew anything because it was just easier to kind of just piece it together. I was originally going to sew the skirt, but it was faster and more efficient for me to just buy a circle skirt. But I did create um, all the accessories and I'll, and I'll go into them. But what we're gonna do in today's video is put on the actual makeup. I'm gonna show you how I did the makeup. It's actually remarkably simple considering uh, it doesn't look like it's simple, but it is. It is, I promise you, it is. Well, I guess before we get into the makeup, let's talk about the accessories. So Frankenberry is like a play on Frankenstein, right? So there's a lot of like Fra <laughs> Frankenstein vibes. Also, Frankenberry is berry colors, pinks and reds. For the top, I just got like a turtleneck. This is like the tissue weight turtleneck from J. Crew. Anyways, it was like a peachy color. I thought it was gonna be perfect, but it was not right. It, I needed it to be more pink, like bubblegum pink. So I ended up getting some Rit dye and just dyeing it very briefly just to like change it from a peachy color to a pink color. Just save a step and just get a pink shirt. I was originally going to sew the skirt like with a pattern and just make it myself custom and all that stuff. And this is custom but it was just more efficient, actually cheaper to just buy a skirt. A lot of the stuff's from Amazon and I will link everything down below if you care. So I found like poodle skirts, like full size circle skirts. Best part is it has pockets because of course it does. Anyways, but instead of a poodle on the skirt, cause you know, you guys know what a poodle skirt is, right? It's this thing right here. Anyway, so instead of it being a poodle or some other kind of fun 50s design, this is the cereal bowl. <laughs> So I made this myself out of felt. You know, I just got sheets of felt from Michaels and I used the picture of the cereal from the box as referenced, you know, for the little shapes. And I just cut them out. So there's gray, white, pink, light pink, and that's it. So I made the little cereal bowl and then the milk all splashing out. I just cut it out with scissors, it's really easy. And then I just glued it on with uh, hot glue. <laughs> <laughs> and then afterwards I went over it with, you know, like needle and thread just to stitch it down to make sure nothing moved. And I also made a spoon. You can see the spoon. <laughs> the little silver studs. It was like a sheet of sticky studs and I just ended up cutting out a strip of them and then cutting out each individual one. That was super duper tedious. I probably need to go behind this with like some adhesive because right now they're just stuck on there and they keep kind of coming off. It's not super secure, but. So underneath the skirt, I didn't want to have to paint my legs and hands and all that stuff. I only wanted to have to paint my face. The skin is pink for Frankenberry. I just got a pair of like pink tights as close as I could match to the, the turtleneck. So it's just like baby pink, like ballet tights. And then this is actually really fun. So I found this belt again on Amazon. It's just like an elastic belt with a bow front already tied. And then it's like a little clip closure, like snaps. And then because Frankenberry is a Frankenstein, he has like chains for suspenders. Or <laughs> these were actually really easy to do. These are just like plastic Halloween chains from 
you know, the Halloween store. So it fits like suspenders where it's like, you know, two in the front and then one in the back. And the reason that I did it like that instead of just like one over each shoulder is because I didn't want them to be slipping down all the time because I have such narrow shoulders and I have terrible posture. When they join together in the back for one, then everything just stays in place. And then I just secured them to the belt with just like a needle and thread, you know. So I found these shoes on Amazon too. They look like they're super duper heavy, but they're not at all. This bottom part is foam, so it's super duper light. And they're just like super cheap patent leather. They're just like fun cosplay shoes. But I thought they were very like Frankenstein-ish vibes, you know? And then I did the same thing with the studs. I just like studded the bottom and then studded around the opening. Then I'm also wearing white poodle socks, just to give it that little bobby sock kind of vibe, you know? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me put the shoe back in the little sleeve. The shoes came in these little sleeves that are very useful for keeping them... Well, it's less about keeping them clean and more about me not knocking off these little stickers because it's not secure. Then, um, what's next? For the gloves, again, I did not want to have to paint my hands at all. So I found a pair of pink gloves with these gloves. I think I found these gloves from Shein. What's really cool about them is that A, they're the perfect color, they're very lightweight, but then the front, like the hand part, is mesh, so it's super breathable. And on the right hand, the thumb and the forefinger bend back so that you can use your phone. That came in handy big time. And then if you notice, Frankenberry's fingertips, instead of fingernails, he has like strawberries, which is precious. I just cut out little pieces of felt in the shape of strawberries. And then the green part is ribbon that I just like cut to make it look like little strawberry tops. And those are just hot glued on, baby. Hot glue is my friend, okay? Okay, and then the glasses, I just found a little pair of red cat eye sunglasses. Same deal with the little studs. So the, the vibe is, you know, Frankenstein is like cobbled together, maybe a little steampunkish with studs and rivets and all that jazz. And when you look at Frankenberry's face, his goggles, he's wearing like big goggles and they're like riveted, riveting. <laughs> and because I'm gonna be wearing a crazy big long lashes, I had Tyler poke out the lenses of these for me. Also, this was very helpful in, you know, if you have to wear a mask, then your glasses won't fog up. Genius. All right, first let's talk about the wig. <laughs> so this wig, I, I wanted like a pink bob like a 50s flip kind of a situation. And this was one that I found. I didn't want to have to work really hard to style this wig because I'm not an expert on wig stuff. And also I didn't want to spend a lot of money on the wig. You can get a wig to do anything you want it to do if you're willing to pay for it. I'm not too cheap, way too cheap. So this wig is actually marketed as Frenchie from Greece. Remember when she dyes her hair pink? Beauty school dropout. Baby, don't blow it. Frankenberry's head is like butt shaped. It is, look at it. So with her little bouffant, it's, she's just like split down the middle and just kind of like teased up as best as I could to make it look like a butt, but then also I've got the bangs and the little flip. And then the headband, it's a, it's a cat ear headband <laughs> that I snapped the little cat points off of. And then I made this with just like some armature wire. I don't have any footage of me making it. Sorry, I didn't think you guys would care. This is like those sheets of like fun foam that you can get at Michael's or the craft store. And I just folded it around, you know, made little cylinders, made a little cone. And then I studded it again with the little rivets. They're just stickers. They just stuck right on. And then this guy is the little dial. So I just made a little, it's almost like a drum shape. You know what I'm saying? This is just a piece of construction paper glued to it. It just sits perfectly on this wig because of the way this wig is designed. See how the bangs are? So here's our little wig. Also, I just want to make a point. If you are ever styling a wig or having to style even your own hair to do something wild and crazy and you can't get it to Day, it's because you're not using this. This is it. This is it. This is the be all end all of all hairsprays when it comes to wig styling or crazy hairstyling. Is it terrible for your hair? Probably, but it works. Okay, well, um, what else? Oh, the color of my skin. So Frankenberry's skin is pink. You know, I've got my Mayron Paradise paints, Old Faithful. I mean, they are. Wow, they're looking a little busted. But I didn't want to have to mix 
the white and red to make pink. You know, to make sure that it's the same color all around. Instead, I picked up this. This is Snazaru. It's the same um, principle, so just water activated face paint. So you just like wet your brush and then, you know, wipe it in there. Paint your face. Easy peasy. It will set down very nicely and it won't transfer. It dries down, but it's really easy to remove. You don't need anything special, no special remover or soap or any of that stuff. I bought this at an art supply store, but I know that they have this at Michael's as well, and I'm pretty sure they have it at Hobby Lobby. Anyways, I'll link it. I'll link it. Don't worry. Everything that I'm using will be linked down in the description box, so just check it out if you want to try to put this together yourself. So let's get started. Let's Let's paint this face. But first, I'm gonna put my hair in a wig cap. BRB. Hi, hello. <laughs> Me again. So I have my wig cap on and I also really quickly, just kind of quickly remove my makeup and my earrings because I'm gonna have to paint my face and ears and neck. So let's do it. So I'm gonna use this here Snazaru and you could just use water. Or if you are fancy, I'm not fancy, but I'm lazy. So I've got some like hydrating mist. It's just like water in a can. So I'm gonna spray the little cake, then use my flat foundation brush. The secret to this is that when you're loading your brush, you need to load both sides. So this wig has bangs, so I'm less concerned about making sure that my forehead is covered, but I'm just gonna start painting. The coverage of this paint is actually really good. It's very simple to put on. And I found that this color tone, this particular pink, was exactly what I wanted. You just kind of approach this like you do any other beauty makeup. So now we're gonna contour and it's very important to really contour. So I'm gonna use super, like the most pigmented eyeshadows that I have. I'm gonna use this one from Pure and Raw Beauty, Christy, because there's a really great red shade in here called Flavor Town and a super great hot pink color called side effect. And then like you can also use blush palettes and stuff, but I wanted to try to keep it as like red as possible. So actually first I wanna try to bring in a little bit of dimensh to my face. So I'm gonna start with some highlight color. This is just white cream makeup. This is from Mehron. I'm not gonna go straight on with the cream. I'm gonna use a sponge. If your face already has paint on it and then you put the cream on it, sometimes it can be harder to blend. So let's avoid that. And you're just highlighting like you would, you know, for any extreme beauty makeup, you know. Now we're gonna start contouring. And to contour, I'm just gonna use eyeshadow. You know I love a tiny tea pointy nose. <laughs> I love it. All right, before we go any further, let's put on some eyebrows. We're just gonna use an angled brush and this good old red eyeshadow. It's gonna be very simple. The paint has clung to my regular eyebrow hairs, so we've got a good frame of reference. with the red shadow. I'm only just using red eyeshadow. I'm going to shadow under my bottom lip to make it look juicy. You know what? I think she'd be super cute with a butt chin, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna try to resist, but you know I love a butt chin. Mm. <laughs> I'm also gonna shadow a little bit in the Cupid's bow. What is this called? I know there's a term for it, Fil fil filtrum. Did I just make that up? Anyways, that's also gonna help make my lip look a little juicier. See how that works? 
Mm. This is a beauty makeup and remember she's like 50s and cute and kind of more friendly than sexy, I guess. You can make this as sexy as you want. Go nuts. But I'm gonna just try to do pinuppy 50s-ish, whatever. getting ready for Halloween right now. Is that what you're doing while you're watching? What's your costume? Tell me all about it. I'm just gonna use this tiny little brush here. Any small brush will do. I'm just gonna load up more of just that red color and I just wanna pack it on. soften this brush doesn't have anything on it I'm just kind of using it as a blender I'm gonna take this shine tea color here this cafe disco it's more of a topper it doesn't really have pigment in it and I'm gonna with my finger just put that on the inner part of the lid intercorner <laughs> all right I like the look of this I am going to with a fluffier brush, something fluffy, creasy, more maybe this hot pinky color side effect blend here and just in this upper crease. So I'm gonna try to get as much color off of this little blendy brush guy that we're using as possible. I just wanna brighten a little bit more. I'm gonna use this super white. Now I wanna deepen a little bit more. You just build until you like how it looks. And I'm in front of really super bright lights. So you might not need to go as hard as I'm going, but it is Halloween. Okay, so now it's time to, I think, put on the wing. Just gonna use like a regular eyeliner pen and it's gonna be super tedious and I'm not gonna be able to talk through it because I can't multitask. <laughs> Honestly, because of the glasses, you might not even see that much of the wing, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Here we are. So I use liquid liner to draw some very Amy Winehouse-esque wings. And then I just used regular black eyeshadow to stamp it on top just to even things out. And it also soften the edges a little bit. They don't need to be super duper sharp because they just don't need to be, unless you want them to be. It's up to you. So I'm gonna have big lashes on top and I'm gonna do, of course, some bottom lashes because I'm me. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the black eyeshadow and just kind of stamp along my lower lash line just to give it some definition, but nothing crazy. I'm also connecting the bottom to the top in the corner, the corner. And this eye is leaking today. That's fun. Look at that nice blank spot that will not cooperate today. No, let's put on a little bit of blush. I think I'm gonna try this color does that look absurd against my face i can't tell mm, just trying to like soften it a little bit make it look a little bit more friendly <laughs> you know i do want to highlight so i've got this really pretty milk and honey palette from beauty bakery and inside there's an awesome pink highlight shade called oh honey it's actually pulling more gold than i thought it would that's interesting. I'm gonna put on lashes and I'll be right back. I'm also doing bottom lashes. I just have um, some little bits saved that I'm gonna glue on the bottom. Just kind of like, I think in the outer corners. Um, I just realized that I have to put on a turtleneck. Why did I not put it on first? Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> I have my lashes on, but before I continue, I still have to put on my lips and I wanna do really cute red lips, of course. Uh, I'm gonna put on that dang turtleneck, okay? So you can get the full effect. I think I have some contact lenses that I'm gonna try because I think that would really give a really cool effect. So let me put on my turtleneck and maybe the lenses, maybe? <laughs> okay, that was a battle. <laughs> I got my shirt on. So you could either like scrunch up the neck and wear it like, you know, higher up or fold it over. However you want to style it is kind of up to you. I'm gonna put the lips on because I have these contact lenses that I think are gonna be really cool, but I don't know if I can see out of them. <laughs> so let me put on the lips. I'm gonna overdraw them, of course, but I'm gonna try to make them maybe a little like cuter. Is that 
Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know if I was recording any of that. Well, the lips are on. They're huge. And I was adjusting the tip of my nose because when I put my turtleneck on, I rubbed some of the paint off. And I just, I'm using white eyeshadow. And I decided to kind of widen the tip a little bit, make it more of like a button nose to make it a little cuter. Cause I, th I think the pointiness was making it a little too severe looking. And I want to look a little bit more cute, although it's still gonna be kind of spooky ooky. <laughs> so I'm also using this white eyeshadow as the inner corner highlight. It's super bright, it's really working nicely. So it's more of like a doe-eyed pretty situation. Although, once I get these contacts in, if I can get them in, they're gonna be kind of crazy, I think. Okay, I think I'm just stalling because I'm really bad at contact lenses. So for real this time, I'm gonna put on the rest of the accessories for the costume, like the suspenders and the wig and the everything, and hopefully the contact lenses, and then we will see the final put together look. Well, this is the finished look. So I am Ms. Frankenberry. Oh, let's look at the cereal box. Ha ha, what do you think, twinsies? You can see, I kinda, I mean, I'm taking a lot of liberties. All right, I'm trying to be kooky, spooky, um, creative a little bit, but I've got my glasses, my butt hair. I don't know how much you can see because I can't see anything right now, but I've got my little gauges and my little stove pipe, kind of. Like what he's got going on. Is it on there? I can't tell. Got my chain suspenders and my strawberry thingles. <laughs> you guys remember the cereal, right? This was my favorite of all of the monster cereals. Delicious. And I've got one more box that I'm going to eat right now. Okay, this is it. This is my Halloween look. Happy Halloween, you guys. I hope you and yours have a safe and happy Halloween today and tonight. And thank you so much for hanging out today and for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then consider subscribing to this channel before you leave today. I upload new videos here on YouTube every week and you can follow me on all of the socials and everything is linked down below as well. Okay, all right. I can't wait to take out these contact lenses because I can't see anything. I'll catch you next time in the next video. Bye. Maybe if I put on my glasses, I can see a little better, huh? No, will be linked down. Yeah. Oh, rude. I mean, I'm pink, like, like a sheet of, I can't see anything, but you know what? It's fine. Good enough for government work. Focus. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, am I stuck to the there we go. Fuck. Nope, not not blueberry. Can't see anything.